Hello everyone. You are welcome to Philco Mathematics. And um, in this video, we want to provide the solution to this problem. Okay, before I start, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos, right? And your subscription will also be to my own advantage right thank you for subscribing now what do we do in this case take the square root of both sides x squared plus 2x squared now i am taking the square root of both sides so that this square can go then on the other hand i will have positive or negative square root of 49 do not always forget that every time you take square root of both sides on the other hand you're going to have plus or minus okay the only time you will not have um plus or minus is when you are having to do with length because length cannot be negative or um positive okay it's always positive rather now this is going to go with this. Now we have x squared plus 2x to be equal to plus or minus square root of 49 is 7. So we are having two equations now. The first equation is x squared plus 2x equals 7. Let's call this our first equation. And then the second equation will be negative. So I will come back here again to pick the other equation. Now from here, we have um, x squared plus 2x minus 7 equals 0. And we are going to solve this by using um, the formula method. Our a is 1. Remember, we have a, b, c in the formula. Our b is 2. That is plus 2. Then c is minus 7. Now, what is the formula? You that you are watching, can you remember the formula? Okay, if you cannot, here is the formula. We have um, x equals, it is x because we are looking for x in the equation minus b plus or minus then we have um b squared minus 4ac in the square root then times 2a then our x will now be we have um minus b that becomes minus 2 plus or minus b squared that will be 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 7. This is because a is 1 and c is minus 7. We divide all through by 2 times 1 and that is 2. Now our x will be minus 2 plus or minus. We now have square root of 2 squared that is 4. Then 4 times 1 times times 7 times minus 7. In fact, negative, negative will give positive first. Then 4 times 7 is 28. And then we we'll divide by 2. Now our x will be minus 2 plus or minus. Adding this 2 will get 32. Then we'll divide all through by 2 but we can simplify this root so that our x becomes minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 times 2 because 16 times 2 is 32 and then we divide by 2 now we can go ahead to get x equal x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 
square root of 16 is 4 then we have root 2 divide all through by 2 now 2 can go into the numerators so that x will be 2 here we we'll have minus 1 and the same 2 here we have plus or minus 2 root 2 so here now we can say that our x is equal to minus 1 plus 2 root 2 or minus 1 minus 2 root 2 so from here now we have two solutions and both of them are real solutions right now we need to go back to one of the equations that we left out let's take a look at that okay so we have picked the negative i mean the positive we will now go back to pick the negative our equation now will be x squared plus 2x equals minus 7 right thank you if you if you are still following then you should have subscribed okay so let's go to the next equation okay so this is the equation and then we have x squared plus 2x plus 7 equals 0 okay now we will still use our formula our a remains 1 b is 2 and c is 7 not negative 7 like before now the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2 times a now our x will now be equal to minus b becomes minus 2 plus or minus okay upon this b squared is still 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 7 okay so we now divide this by 2 times 1 and that is still 2 so if we continue our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 28 okay so we divide this by 2 now our x is minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 24 then we divide by 2 we can simplify this the first thing is to pick out this negative right so that x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 24 times square root of negative 1 divide by 2 now our x will be minus 2 plus or minus 24 is 4 times 6 then square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we write i as we divide by 2 okay to go ahead our x is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then we have root root um, 6 we have root 6 over there yes then multiply by i multiply by i this is over 2 now we can divide so that x will be equal to 2 will go there we have minus 1 plus or minus 2 will go there and it's nothing i mean it's 1 but i can come there so we have i root 6 then there's no 2 under again and this is 2 in one solution so that x is equal to minus 1 plus i root 6 or minus 1 minus i root 6 now from here we have additional two solutions but what we have here is um, not a real solution it is an imaginary solution 
So the first two solutions are the real solutions, while this one, these ones here are the imaginary. And um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel.